Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kim and today we're going to go through what I hope to read in December. So for my TBRs, I usually do book -uply. But this month I wanted to try and do something a little different because I want to try and wrap up some of the stuff that I didn't get to during the year, be it book cup reads or book copy reads that I didn't read or maybe some of the arcs that I didn't pick up. Because I don't know which avenue to go down, I'm going to let wheels decide what I read this month. That being said, there are a couple of things that I need to get onto my list that I need to get round to at some point. So let's create an MBR, shall we? The only readathon that I will be loosely participating in this month is Lightfall, which is created by G over at Book Roast. It is part of the Aurelium Magical Readathon world. The prompts are quite loose, so I should be able to hopefully link in whatever I read this month with the prompts and do it that way instead, but I am participating. I will, as always, leave a link down in my description box to G's channel and to the announcement video of Lightfall. So what am I reading this month? Well, last month I did say that I was going to start my Crescent City reread with A Quarter Spicy Books. Now, I thought they were going to start doing this at the end of the month, but they didn't. They started doing it at the beginning of the month and because I was away and everything else, I didn't get to it. But I really do want to reread House of Earth and Blood this month. So that I can read Sky and Breath next month, so that at the end of January I can pick up book three. So that's a chonker, it's on my list already. Also, this month I also need to try and finish Lord of Chaos for Wheel of Time. The live show is loosely going to be on the 10th of this month, and I'm I'm on chapter two at the moment, so I have a long way to go with that one but I need to get that finished before I can move on to the Catch Up Book Club book for last month, I think it was. Yep, last month, which was Red Country, so that I can get onto this month's Wheel of Time book, which is A Crown of Swords. These are all pretty chunky books. I'm not gonna get to all of these, but they're on my list. And then we get on to my Agatha Christie Poirot read for this month. We are reading Halloween Party, yes, it's two months later than Halloween, but that's the book we're on at the moment. It's Halloween Party by Agatha Christie. The next book is that I need to read the Rory Gilmore Book Club book read for this month, which is a book on your TBR. So the whole of the list is on my TBR, basically. So I started at the top of the list. It's in alphabetical. I went down and I picked the first one that kind of really jumped out at me because Gavin over at Gavin Reads It All he's changed his name, has just read the whole series, I've decided to go with Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Also this month I have the A Court of Spicy Books book for this month. It hasn't officially been announced yet, but looking at the poll on the Discord, it looks like we're going to be reading Wreck the Halls. And the final required read for this month is the Buzzword book for this month, which is to read sound word books. Now this is quite good because I have just been granted access to an arc that has a sound word in the title. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Thankfully I was granted access to it today so it made it into my TBR and it ticks off another one. So, so that's all my required reads for the month. Now, last month I did fail Bacopoli. So as a forfeit I would usually just add another roll. I'm going to do a full fit roll of Bacopoli and find out which book I'm reading first. Let's stick out the Bacopoli board on my Kindle. Here we go, Bacopoli board loaded onto my Kindle. Last month we finished up on Spooky Read. Let's find out what my full fit roll is. We have a two and a four, that is six. Off we go, Tim. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, well, dang it, it's a smart book. So we ended up with Smut, which means a spicy book. So why not put on the Equal Spicy Books book for this month? I'm going to be reading Wreck the Halls as my first book this month, which hopefully will get me in a bit of festive spirit because I'm not feeling good at the moment. 
But yeah, so the rest of the month is going to be controlled by spinner wheels. So the first wheel that I'm going to go to is what category I'm going to be reading from this month. So we have a few. We have my 2023 anticipated reads that I couldn't get to so far this, this year. We have past book club books that I have not been able to get to this year. We have past Bacopoli unread books. We have Fairly YA books, Fairly adult books, Lumicrate books, the one Evernight book that I have, Locked Library books. We have Bacopoli roll on there, so I'll just roll on the board again. We have a Christmas book because I want to get in the festive spirit. We have a required read, which would help me get through the required reads of the month. I have Arc on there because I have a few arcs that I've not gotten to yet. And we also have on there Unwrap a book. So before this one, you would have seen that I did a random eBay unboxing where I just picked at random a box on eBay. They did it to me full of just random used books. My friend, bless him, has wrapped all the books for me, numbered them for me at random, and I will then draw a number and I will read that book. So we have Unwrap a book on there. Here I'm going to do three spins and find out what my next three books are and then after that I will just be spinning as I'm going. So yeah, let's do spin one. Well that couldn't have gone any better could it? An arc read. So that's easy. I was going to put all the arcs on a spinner wheel and then spin it, but then, then I did just get this arc, which is going to also tick off buzzword for this month. So I'm just going to go with my mystery arc for this month for that one. Should we find out what the next one is? I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is Locked Library. So, yeah, let's put all my Locked Library books that I haven't read yet onto a spinner wheel and find out which one I'm reading this month. Okay, so I just ran and grabbed that from my shelves. So we are reading... All the Dead Lie Down by Kyrie McCauley. And this is beautiful and gives me eerie. It also gives me very wintry. So definitely gives me wintry. So this will be my lock library pick. Okay. Should we go again? Okay, so it's a book that was in part of a book club that I haven't read this month. So let's do another wheel. So the book for past book club book read was the Only One Left by Riley Sager. So not a bad book to read either. Okay, I want to continue doing this, but no, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to, I'm just going to spin as I go from now on. A bit disappointed I didn't get to unwrap a book, but maybe I'll do something else with that later in the month. So that's the first four books that I'm reading this month. Yeah, I actually managed to get a required read on here as well, which is great. And I'm ticking off some books box books that I need to get to. So it started off well, I think. What do you think? Is this a good way to wrap up my end of year? What do you think? I'm sorry for the chaos, but that's it. That's my TBR. As always, down in my description box, you can find a link to all of my socials. Come give me a follow on Goodreads on Instagram and on X. You can like this video, you can comment, and you can subscribe if you want to see the rest of this chaos this month in form of my weekly vlogs. You'll see more spins in my vlogs. So yeah, if you want to leave me an emoji to let me know that you were here, let's leave me something Christmassy. 
because we're in December, why not? And I will see you next time. Toodles.